Hey, what's going on guys? So we're going to be casting this game between SLE24C in the blue here at uh, 1141 versus our player Max5452 in the red here at 1250. So it uh, looks like, ooh, interesting choice. Um, Alexander, I mean, this card's pretty good. Um, so perhaps he's playing uh, Dino um, Dragons, which I've seen a few people actually try out. Um, and I don't really know if it's that great, uh, but I mean, Alexander Dragon is kind of good. I mean, it, it, at least it's a 2,000 attacker. It is a light, so it puts, you know, lots of cards in the graveyard for you to, uh, you know, get back or perhaps remove to uh, get out light pulsar dragons. So it's a pretty interesting uh, variant. And uh, Dark Hole comes out of our player in the red. Um, and uh, that's an okay play. Uh, perhaps he doesn't have an answer to Utopia at the moment. Um, so you got some stratos and a trap hole. Interesting choice. Uh, and you might be wondering, why is he playing trap hole? Well, trap hole actually hits insectors, so it's not that bad. Uh, realistically now, it may be perhaps in the side. Uh, trap hole also kind of hurt black wings for a while. Um, there were some people that were siding trap holes against black wings. But um, our play in the red is going to call priority on the stratos, and uh, stratos will then add a card to his hand. And so let's see what he ends up going for. Uh, probably Alias. Oh, Prisma. Okay. Interesting. So, uh, I mean, there's quite a few decks that can run, run uh, Prisma and uh, Stratos. I mean, there's some variants of Cyber Dragon decks. Um, yeah. Oh, Fusion Gate. And it looks like he's just going to uh, perhaps remove a Prisma and another E here. Interesting choice to play uh, Neos here. Um, I really haven't seen this card see any play. Um, although with Hero Blast, the card would be quite good. And a Reborn comes out of our player in the red, and he's going to be getting back Stratos. And now he can either pop um, or add. Uh, I think popping would be an okay uh, effect uh, at the moment because... Um, oh, he's going to chain. What is it? Venus chain. Oh, and so uh, Stratos cannot uh, attack now. And uh, Venus chain will not be blown up. So, um, I mean, there are two E heroes removed, so uh, our Shining should be a 3200 attack, and he's going to attack. Um, and I'm curious to why he didn't Fiendish chain the Stratos. Um, I don't know, Trap Pulling Stratos just doesn't seem like that big of a deal. And he's going to remove both. And that's interesting. For another Shiny. I wonder why he didn't do that before if he wanted to get more attack. I mean, obviously, our player in the blue couldn't drop Gores. Um, but the thing is, a deep prison would hurt our player in the red really bad right now. Um, just because, yeah, obviously, uh, you know, then he couldn't add the yeah, cards with Shining. Um, but let's see what he ends up going for. Um, most likely, I'm thinking Alias, but, uh, I mean, playing, um, that, what was that? That normal monster with 2,500 attack that he was playing. Oh, he's going for Ice Edge. Interesting. But, um, yeah, usually people don't run that card. Um, I forget what that normal monster's name is. That he's playing, but uh, yeah, I mean it, it's a pretty darn good uh, target with Hero Blast though, because um, destroy anything with 25 or less attack, I believe, would be uh, the ability of Hero Blast, because just target a normal monster in the graveyard that's an E hero, and uh, you get to add it to your hand. Interesting. Um, I want to say that this card's too meta, uh, but I mean, uh, yeah, I really don't see the point of playing Hero Bond. But uh, he's going to be able to activate Isis Effect, which is the ability to attack directly. Um, oh, okay. So he cannot activate Isis Effect to attack directly, but um, he can attack the uh, base down. Oh, and it was a Sangan. But the thing is, uh, let's see what he adds. Because if he has, he most likely Rabbit or Tour Guide is my guess. Um, I'd opt to go for um, Tour Guide. Uh, because then that way you can uh, get back, you know, a rabbit that way, and then you can have an 1800 attacker on the field as well. But the main problem here, though, is I'm not, I'm still not sure what our playing player in the blue is playing, but uh, he's playing multiple fingers chains, so it's going to be something super meta. And a dark hole comes out, and um, that will enable our player to get back two e hero cards. And so he will get the shining effect, and he's going to use Stratos. And also he's gonna grab back. Let's see if he adds. Oh, okay, Prisma. Pretty good. I wouldn't say that that uh, 
Neos is that E hero. That normal monster, I believe it's just Neos. But anyways, um, the thing is when you're playing against like an E hero deck and they don't have you know cards in their hand, you don't have to worry about like cards like Super Poly. Um, but yeah, our player in the red just kind of went all in. I, I think it was an unnecessary move to do. But yeah, he can push for quite a bit of damage right now. But the thing is, will he have an answer to the the big monsters that are playing the red can get out like a sh another shining would still kind of hurt um but let's see what a player in the red goes for because if he goes for the dinosaurs ooh, so he is playing a variant of dragons um oh okay um i think he messed up he didn't meant to get out eclipse wyvern that'd be amazing if you can get eclipse wyvern out because whenever he goes to the graveyard he could just be so good but uh yeah i think uh he should attack first and then exceed in main phase two. Oh no, he's gonna go all in right now. Maybe he can actually game him. Cause if you can, uh... oh nope. I was gonna say if it was red as darkest metal, he could potentially, you know, have something else as maybe call the haunted, get something back, uh, like that utopia, which would be an extra twenty five hundred damage. Um, but yeah. So he will be alive for one more turn, and uh, I think it's, is, if that back row isn't something uh, too good, ooh, and he's going to overlay, probably for his Zen mains, that's going to be my guess, um, but let's see what he ends up making. Oh uh, yeah, Zen mains in defense. Uh, let's see, so he can go for Shining, and uh, probably kill the... Uh, the levier just so it couldn't use its effect once again and then um i don't know what he wanted to do he's gonna summon prisma and I'm gonna send a card to the grave so let's see what he reveals because uh, it'll be interesting but yeah i felt our you hear a player really just went oh rainbow neos So I guess he can send a Neos to the graveyard. But the thing is that Neos is like so bad. Oh, Rainbow. But he actually is running Rainbow Dark Dragon. <laughs> Interesting choice. Um, if you can pull off Rainbow Neos, I would be so impressed. Because I believe that it, its effect is you can return like all the monsters on the field to uh, their deck or something like that. I mean, it has a pretty darn good effect. Oh, remove a lot in it. Oh, Blacklist Soldier. We're going to be removing that Zen Mains when a Bottomless comes out. But he can still call Priority. Um, if he wishes to, and get rid of Zen mains, um, he should be doing that. Otherwise, that'd be uh, a misplay. Absolutely, there's no reason why you'd want to attack with Black Lotus Soldier either. Um, yeah, okay. So he's gonna call priority on the effect, and he will be removing uh, Zen mains, and uh, that will kind of hurt our player in the blue there, because uh, now we're playing the red. Uh, the card he has in his hand is a Stratos, so. Um, this is hand and field? Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, he can go and, uh... Yeah. Let's see. So, oh yeah. So he's going to be getting rid of Levier here. He's checking the Banish to see how much damage he has. I believe that's quite a bit of damage. Uh, I'm not sure how much it is because uh, I can't actually check the graveyard. Oh, 4,100, that is a pretty strong prisma there. Um, so even like if a Red Eyes Darkness Metal comes out, um, it won't really help. Um, uh, the thing is, that they do play Exploder Dragon Wing, and uh, I mean, some decks do play that. I think that that card is still very viable, a very good card. And uh, if you don't know what Exploder uh, Dragon Wing, I believe the card's name is, uh, it's a dragon that has a thousand attack, and whenever it attacks a monster, both players take no damage, but they both get destroyed. Um, and that would uh, help make a game. Um, and yeah, Pulsar going into defense would probably be the uh, right play to do. And a Rota comes out. Yeah, let's see what he ends up going for. Um, most likely, I mean, he hasn't played Alias at all, which I'm quite curious about. Oh, he's going for Voltic. Um, and I don't agree with this. You know why? And the reason why is because... I mean, yeah, he can get some damage in um, if he possibly is able to attack with Voltic, but then the player in the blue, all he has to do is summon really any monster and attack into Voltic because 300 uh, is not enough to essentially make a game. Uh, but most likely what will happen, though, is our player will... Um, oh, he's going to call GG right there. And uh, what would likely happen, though, 
is uh, if Shining got the attack through, Voltic would attack. He would probably get back Stratos. Stratos would then pop both the back rows, and then our player in the red would then exceed for like a Utopia or a Roach. And that would really make a game. Uh, dragons really have a problem against Roach, uh, but Rabbit Dragons, uh, I mean, I haven't really seen the deck too often, but uh, I don't think it'd be that much of a problem to get over Roach. They can really just uh, summon, you know, Alexandra Dragon and attack over. But those are both uh, different variants of decks that were pretty interesting interesting to see. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asianized White Dragon, signing out.